Graphical interfaces use a cursor to associate hand motion with a position on the screen. By using a multipoint touchpad, we can create cursors that use more hand parameters to control more than position. We fit the touchpad with a tactile button so that depressing the touch surface engages cursor action. Our first technique is simply a multipoint cursor, where each point corresponds to a finger on the touchpad. Using multiple fingers, the user may grab several objects at once and can move and rotate them as if sliding them on the surface of a table. Note that this is not a simple one-to-one -one mapping from the touch surface to the display. The coordinate frame of the hand is scaled to an appropriate size for the screen and is then moved by the global motion of the hand. This motion is first passed through a standard mouse gain function, which gives the cursor full range of the screen while maintaining precision at low speeds. The touchpad is used as a relative positioning device so that if the user runs out of space, he may lift his hand and re-engage dragging from another location. This approach is also helpful when using two hands since it allows the fingers of each hand to work in their own space without overlapping. Since users generally control only one object at a time, it is useful to abstract the parameters of the hand into a single point cursor. The similarity cursor allows the user to focus on a single target while simultaneously controlling its position, rotation, and scale. Here, the user scales, rotates, and positions the leaves. To do this, we map the rotation of the hand or fingers to the angle of the cursor and the span of the fingers to object scaling. Just as we apply a gain function to cursor position, we can modify the speed of rotation. Rotation gain allows the user to rapidly turn a shape without placing his hand in an awkward position. At the same time, it maintains precise control of small movements. The similarity cursor may be especially useful in tasks such as image alignment, where decomposing the components of a transformation is difficult. Our final technique extends the idea of area cursors by mapping the span of the fingers to the area of the cursor. Area cursors make it easy to acquire small targets by increasing the size of the cursor's activation area. However, when objects are crowded together, standard area cursors cannot distinguish individual targets. The adjustable area cursor overcomes this problem by allowing the user to shrink the activation area. Another shortcoming of standard area cursors is that they do not let the user click on empty space between objects. This is easily accomplished by minimizing the area of the cursor. Since the adjustable area cursor can distinguish the selection of one object from the intentional selection of many objects, it can be used to create ad hoc groups of objects, allowing the user to control many targets at once.